Welcome back. Now that you've learned how to test students, find out how teachers are using this option called student screen to link two devices. That way, the student doesn't see the yes and no buttons or see the notes. Find out how now. This video will show how to use ESGI's student screen. First, you will need two devices to link together. Most popular is a teacher computer and perhaps a tablet or iPad. On that student's iPad, go to www.esgiss.com. That stands for student screen. Once there, you wait for a code. On the teacher account, there are two places to get that code. One is here on the home screen and the other is in the settings. Launch the student screen. Now you have five minutes to enter this code onto the student device and join the session. Now the tablet will wait for the teacher to start a session. Simply find that student on the class list, choose a test, and click test. Now you can see that the student screen only shows the test item, but the teacher screen shows those yes and no buttons as well as the notes section. So you can mark yes or no without the child seeing. The results will show on both test screens. Now if you'd like to test the same student, simply click a new test and get started. The devices will stay linked. If you're in the classroom and would like to test another student, simply click on that student's name and you can get started again. You will not need to get another linking code. However, if you are in a remote situation and you're calling a family using a video conferencing software, you will need to get a different code each and every time that you call a student's family. Just click the launch student screen here. If you have any questions about how to use the student screen, please visit our support page.